what is it about video game movies that always somehow winds up either in a mixed result or pretty much practically for the most part in a bad result? What seems to be the case here is that you take a really fantastic video game and make that into a really terrible movie. This always seems to be the case with Bube Balls movies. We're here to talk about one of the biggest and greatest games that has ever been released on the biggest console of all time, the PlayStation 2. Ratchet and Clank. So, as you can tell, Ratchet and Clank is practically the movie based upon the famous video games that has been released on the PlayStation 2. And what do I think about the games? Well, I haven't really gotten far into this, but uh, what I can tell about this game so far as I know, it's pretty hilarious, it's fantastic, it's really fun, especially with the weapon names and everything, and especially with the creative worlds and everything. It's a really fantastic thing. And especially with the announcement of an animated movie, this could have been good. This could have been potential. I mean, especially with the guys at PlayStation Originals. They were close to this. This could have had some, and I do mean some potential, but they just, I don't know what went wrong. Maybe it could have been like, Something had gone wrong with the writing. Something could have, you know, went wrong with the acting. Well, no, something could have gone wrong with the acting. I mean, they've got some big list actors like Sylvester Stallone and, like, uh, Paul Giamatti. I mean, I've heard he's practically been good. He's in Straight Outta Compton. He's in uh, Billions, the Showtime original. He's in, uh, uh, what's he in? I heard he's got some good acting. But uh, overall, I'm, and I've heard that they actually got some of the voice actors from the games themselves. Like, both Ratchet and Clank, even Captain Quard himself, in this movie. But what topped this off was the fact that the director of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, well, okay, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was okay, but the director of this odd film that, I forget the name of, so put the name down here, winded up directing the movie. And that's practically one of the worst movies. It's even rated lower than this movie. What do I mean by that? Well, the last I recalled, it had an 8% on Rotten Tomatoes, and this movie, last I checked, had a uh, 21%. Yeah, a 21%. Compared to that and Animals United, which has, last I checked, or 25%, that's pretty bad. And, again, like I said, I haven't gotten very far with Ratchet and Clank, so I don't know if the rest of the game's like this. Heck, I haven't even gotten any of the other Ratchet and Clank games, so I don't know what they're like, or even the new... Uh, tie-in game for the movie, but I've heard a lot of positive things about it. But the one thing that makes it memorable are the games, the weapon names, and you just cling on together to the main characters, and the jokes are spot on. I do want to like this movie. I I really, really do, but I just can't find myself liking it especially if it just falls through. They're trying to translate what makes the game so good and try to translate that into a movie, but something in it just falls flat on its face that something just, just doesn't work. And I just can't figure out what it is. And you're thinking, well, why not... Maybe this is not for, like, any casual moviegoer. And practically, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe it's designed for anyone who has practically uh, played the games. 
hell, I haven't even, like, gone to these yet. I practically have the original three here on the PS2 that I need to get up to. And I'm on the first few levels of this sucker. And a lot of people who have not played the PS2 wouldn't even know about these games, is what I think the problem would be. These are moviegoers we're talking about here. I don't know what else to say for this movie. There were jokes that were all hit and miss. I mean, I did find myself laughing at a few, but then other times I was just like, yeah, that, uh, that was, uh, that really fell flat. And really, this is cutting really, really, really close to, like, I don't really do not know what else to say because I haven't really gotten far into these games. Because what I hear is that they have gotten elements of this film, but also gotten elements of the other um, Ratchet and Clank games into this movie. So we have that element thrown into this batch. And unless you are a die-hard Ratchet and Clank fan, you're gonna be left in a sea of confusion. Which... You, which, unless you are wanting to be interested in wanting to play the Ratchet and Clank games, then you can gladly buy a PlayStation 2 and buy these games if you want, which I have no problem with. But for anyone who's looking to play Ratchet and Clank, then go to it. But for this movie, I will say that despite the fact that over the past few years that video game movies have had a curse, especially in, in the being bad department, is that I will say that Ratchet and Clank, despite being hit and missed, and especially since the fact that you gotta be sort of a die-hard Ratchet and Clank fan to get some of the ideas and potentials to what the hell's going on in this movie, I will say that Ratchet and Clank, you're not gonna remember it in T minus, I don't know, a day or so. I mean, for anyone else who's looking forward to any of the video game movies, anyone else is praying for that, uh, the Warcraft movie, which is based on the World of Warcraft games, is gonna be good and it's gonna revive everything. I mean, I'm hoping for that as well, but I, literally I'm not gonna review that thing since I'm not really that big of a World of Warcraft fan. And to another extent, if I knew Ratchet and Clank was going to be that bad of a movie, and since it has like 21% Rotten Tomatoes, I would have gone to see Zootopia again. Just to be honest. And I've would have gone to play the games as well. But I want to hear from you. Zootopia. Not Zootopia. But I want to hear from you. Ratchet and Clank the movie. Have you seen it? What did you think about it? And I also got two questions. What's your favorite Ratchet and Clank video game out of the franchise? And what's your favorite PlayStation uh, games out of this? It could be Sly Cooper or, you know, Jack and Daxter or even Nathan Drake from the Uncharted series. Whatever your thoughts are, comment below and let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, then... Just hit that subscribe button or just check out my videos and my channel page if you want to see more. And as always, I'm the Ferb Guy and I'll see you guys for the next movie.